Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Today we're shopping at Trader Joe's. There's a new frozen food item and lots of sweet treats that have returned for the spring season. So let's go see what goodies we can find. Before we start shopping, a special thank you to Thrive Market for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. I have a great offer for you. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit when I share my bonus Thrive Market haul. I also have a link in the description box if you're curious about them. Okay, now let's go shopping. These pretty drooping flowers are called Stephanotis and are $17.99 pink and white hydrangeas, and lots of large hyacinth to choose from in either pink or purple, and these are $6.99. I never knew that jasmine plants look like this, and these are $9.99. Shamrock plants are back for St. Patty's Day, and still the same price as last year at $4.99. There's also lots of chamomile flowers. These look like they haven't fully bloomed yet. And then here are some that are opening up and these are $4.99. Honey mangoes, they're also called champagne mangoes or Atalfo mangoes. You can get a four pack right now for $5.99. And two pounds of white nectarines for $6.99. And pine berries have finally arrived on the West Coast. These are supposed to taste like pineapples, but they taste just like a sweeter strawberry to me. And $3.99 for 10 ounces. Organic kiwis, a one pound bag is $4.49. There's also large papayas. They're $3.49 for one. If you squeeze lime juice over it, it's really yummy. There's also pineapples and melons, portobello mushrooms. I always forget that Trader Joe's carries them and it's a two pack for $3.49. Let's head straight into the bakery section and look at some goodies because life is about balance. The glazed sweet lemon scones are delicious and surprisingly it has less calories than the other scones there. 190 calories per scone. The other scones all range around 260 calories and up. I did end up refrigerating half of these and it thawed really well at room temperature, but these are a little pricey at $4.49 a bag. The lemon scones were my favorite pastry item that came out last year until the lemon sheet cake arrived. This cake was so good that I ate half the cake in one sitting, which is something I usually wouldn't do because I'm somewhat of a Nazi when it comes to portion control, but I couldn't help myself because this cake was so soft and moist. And I'm the type that usually scrapes off most of the icing on the cake, but this one was so good because it was really lemony and had lemon zest bits in it. Totally worth it for $5.49. The chocolate mousse cake eggs are back for Easter. These are just so cute. One bite sized piece is around 93 calories. Some of these seasonal cakes have a higher mousse to cake ratio and some have a 50-50 ratio, but I forget the ratio on this one. Although of course it does vary from whoever makes it. I prefer when there's a little bit more cake and this is $3.99. Raspberry hearts are gone, but the raspberry stars are back, and these stick around until around 4th of July. This is $5.99. The brown sugar cardamom bums are still here for $4.49. Glazed sour cream donuts, $4.49. And we still have some raspberry mousse cakes left over from Valentine's Day, so if you're not into the chocolate mousse cakes, then these are a good option at $3.99. Another fan favorite is back, the Blarney Irish Scone. This does include raisins in it. I know some people really don't like raisins, but I'm a big fan of any breads or cookies or salads that have raisins in it. So let me know, do you guys like raisins or do you not like raisins? Warm this up and have it with a little bit of butter, and this is $3.99. Raspberry Kringle is back and will be in stores until June 23rd. So here's the schedule if you wanna jot it down. Cheesecake comes out in the summer from June 24th through September 1st. Then it's pumpkin from September September 2nd to October 20th, then Almond is here from October 21st to December 29th, and then Pecan is January 8th through March 3rd. Also wanted to give you a heads up that a new cinnamon Danish twist from Denmark will be arriving soon, so be on the lookout for that. Unfortunately, I didn't have a photo for it. The blueberry muffin mix is back. This blue box feels like summer is coming right around the corner. I haven't heard any negative reviews on this, so I'm thinking it's a pretty solid mix. And this is $4.49. Also, I haven't seen the almond flour chocolate chip cookie mix in a while, although I know that they carry it year round, so it just caught my eye. I know a lot of people love this mix and I really wanted to, and I tried it at least three times, but they were just a little too greasy for me and a box is $4.99. Before we continue shopping, jumping in here to tell you a little bit more about Thrive Market, if you're not already familiar with them, it's basically like Costco where you can pay a membership. There's two options, a month-to-month -month membership for $12 a month or an annual membership for $5 a month, billed at $59.95. But it's also like Whole Foods or Sprouts Market where you can get a lot of organic, healthy foods and natural products for your home for 25 to 50% lower than retail prices. Honestly, this is really convenient, especially if you don't live close to a health food store because your package will be delivered right to your front door within a few days. I usually buy items on here that I can't find at Trader Joe's and also because I don't feel like running out to 
another store. So it saves me a lot of time. It's a nice one-stop shop on the website for so many healthier items and home products. They also have an app, which is where I usually place my order and you can shop down the virtual aisles by category like you see here, or you can filter it and shop by a specific diet like if you're gluten-free, keto, vegan, or paleo. It's great because if you're looking for healthy swaps to your favorite snacks, most likely they carry it. And if you're a mom, you will love it because they carry so many healthy toddler and kid snacks. So let's see what I got. I got some zinc because I like to take one daily, especially during cold and flu season. I like the mega food brand because it's made with real food. Also got echinacea and elderberry tea because I wanted to have some in my pantry just in case a cold strikes again. Go macro bars were my favorite bars several years ago. I love them so much that I ate them literally every day until I got so sick of them. And now after taking a long break, I'm excited to revisit them and love that I can get a variety box of all the different flavors. They have a chewy sticky texture, kind of like a taffy and I like to refrigerate mine so that it's a little bit more harder to chew. Most of the bars have really good ingredients in them. Only one has like natural flavors that I know of. Outside of the Medjool dates I get at the farmer's market, Julie's dates are my next favorite and I only get them from Thrive because they usually have the best deal, especially when it's on sale. So Thrive Market will have different sales periodically and actually when I made this order, there was a sale going on for all gluten-free items. I have repurchased the organic rolled oats many, many times. They are so good. They are really big oats and they taste really hearty. I really think I like the Thrive Market brand more than the name brands. And this two pound bag costs $6.49. And I'm forever on a quest to find a good electrolyte drink mix. And these flavors sounded good to me. Pina Colada, Apple Teeny, and Peach Bellini. I was hoping for like a sweet and tart flavor of the Apple Teeny, but they all ended up just being sweet. So this retails for $24.99 and I got it for $14.24 which is an amazing deal and you guys know how much I love Skipjack Tuna from Trader Joe's so I wanted to try this brand and see how it compares and it was pretty good but I still think I like the Trader Joe's brand a little bit better. I usually get psyllium powder from Thrive again because they have the best deals. Usually a canister will cost anywhere from $15 to $20 at stores but I got this for $11 which is great although I usually get the Organic India brand but they were sold out at the time of my order. Thrive Market and Whole Foods in Pennsylvania is the only place I can find this dark chocolate tahini which is so good it has a deep dark chocolate flavor it's slightly nutty and it's not overly sweet it just has like a really rich dark chocolate flavor I like to dip apple slices or strawberries in it or add a spoonful on top of my oatmeal or Greek yogurt highly recommend giving it a try it's so good I don't even like chocolate hummus but I really like this chocolate tahini this is my all-time favorite number one brand for peanut butter and Thrive carries it. A lot of other stores have this as well like Sprouts and some Kroger stores and Target. I literally check all the time to see which store has this peanut butter on sale and since prices have gone up a lot lately, this is $9 right now at Sprouts which is just insane to me. Just a couple years ago I would get this for $5 when it was on sale but now I get it from Thrive and it's $6.29 which is still pricey but a lot better than $9. Thrive and one other online website I shop at has the best price for the Santa Cruz peanut butters but what's great about Thrive is that if you find a lower price somewhere else they will match it so that's guaranteed savings on every order. Again, that's so helpful and convenient because it saves me time from shopping at multiple stores for the best deal. So this entire order was around $110 and so my order shipped free, but any order over $49 is free and you get a free gift, which is fun and nice to sample an item. And for my free sample, I picked these fruit chews. If you're interested in Thrive Market, go to thrivemarket.com slash shoppinggeek or click on the link in the description box below to get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. Now let's continue shopping. Here are the overnight oats and there's a new strawberry flavor that arrived. This one is soaked in coconut water and has a strawberry and apple concentrate in it. Some people have said that this tasted really sweet, but overall the reviews have kind of just been okay on these. Someone said this tasted really sweet compared to the Mush brand, which has seven grams of sugar. Overall, the reviews have kind of just been okay on these. And there's also a peanut butter flavor one, and this one includes dates as a sweetener and peanut butter, 13 grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein. Last week, the pulled chicken came back, and this week, the hardwood smoked pulled pork is also back. You can add this to a salad mix or have it in a sandwich or a wrap, add barbecue sauce. Both are $8.99. Another Irish cheddar cheese has arrived and this one has Irish whiskey in it. Let me know what you would pair this with. This is $11.99 per pound. And I am in the sausage section because usually around this time they come out with the Irish bangers for St. Patty's Day, but I didn't see any. But there's still lots of sausages to choose from for $6.49. 
And now finally for a new frozen food item, chilies rellenos con queso, cheese stuffed poblano peppers with Mexican style tomato sauce. You could pair this with Spanish rice, which is also in the freezer section and make it a meal. Sodium is pretty high, 870 milligrams for one, but I heard it doesn't taste that salty. Someone suggested cutting this up and adding this to a breakfast burrito with some eggs, which sounds delicious. Overall, the reviews have been pretty good. The bad reviews have said that the breading is really spongy and chewy and that the tomato sauce was kind of like weak and diluted and two come in a box for $5.99. Also wanted to give you guys a heads up that there was a major recall recently with the chicken soup dumplings due to plastic being found from a marker. I think about 60,000 of them were recalled. Hopefully none of you were affected by this. Not a new item but new packaging for the impossible chicken nuggets. It used to come in a white and greenish blue bag if you see it in the background. Everything is still the same though. 240 calories for five nuggets, 13 grams of protein, 17 grams of net carbs, 480 milligrams of sodium. The price has gone up to $6.99 a bag though. I've heard good reviews on the gluten-free plant-based fish fillets. Three pieces come in a box and they are made out of jackfruit and king oyster mushrooms zero grams of sugar which i'm surprised because jackfruit must have some sugar in it and these are 2.99 a box and i'm pretty sure the cheese blintzes are offered year round six crepes come in a box serve this with some fresh fruit or fruit preserves because they're not really sweet although as i say this i see it has 12 grams of sugar this would be good for easter or for brunch and these are 4.49 one of my favorite flavors, the Coffee Hold the Cone, is back for spring. This one comes with a chocolate cone, so it's almost giving like mocha vibes. Also, another heads up, there will be a new Dulce de Leche ice cream arriving soon, so be on the lookout for that as well, and I think that's going to be coming in a pint. I didn't have a photo for that one either, so just keep your eyes peeled. If you missed the last video, I sampled the cinnamon sugar almonds and unfortunately wasn't a fan. Here's the skinny dipped almonds dupe for $4.99 and the adorable candy coated dark chocolate covered almonds are back for Easter. I initially thought these were just okay, but as I was working through the bag, I ended up loving them. And then last year when I got it, I kind of went back to my initial thoughts and thought they were just okay again, but they're so cute. And one piece is about 11 calories. They come in pastel colors and are speckled and it's $3.99 a bag. Also, here's a sneak peek at a new brown sugar boba mochi candy that's going to be arriving soon. They actually have been selling big bags of these boba mochi at Costco for the last few years, and it seems to be phasing out of there now, and Trader Joe's is getting them, which is perfect timing for those who are fans. Now that it's springtime, all the gummies are all out on display. Tangy turtles, the bag says tart and sweet, but I think everyone has said that they're not really tart, they're just mostly sweet. I've been seeing a lot of candy charcuterie boards lately, and it looks so cute. You can totally get all these Trader Joe's candies and make one yourself. Also, just a reminder that Trader Joe's uses either vegetable or fruit juices to color their candies and doesn't use food dyes, which I really appreciate. Cinnadragons used to be a seasonal summer item, but I think these are offered year round now for the most part. And I think these are $2.49 a bag. This was really random and I'm not sure if this store just had some leftover stock from the fall, but this can be a fun treat for Easter or any holiday really caramel apples this one comes with caramel peanuts and sprinkles and six sticks and it's $6.99 a box also the probiotic sparkling beverages are back there's a tangerine I tried this one last year and I didn't really find it that tart and it was lightly carbonated similar to the carbonation and spindrift and I didn't find it remarkable but I know a lot of people really enjoyed it and then there's also a ginger lemon flavor this one has five grams of sugar compared to the tangerine which had six grams and both cans are $1.99 the sparkling coconut water with yuzu is really light and refreshing you can taste the coconut this tasted really tropical to me and this is $3.99 for a four pack also warmer weather I guess calls for cocktails and so tonic water there is a four pack with 12 ounces cans it's sweet with a touch of lime flavor and has the right amount of bitterness I know a lot of people are drinking a lot less these days so you could totally make a mocktail with this also and this is $3.99 the mango juice is back and this might be reformulated because it says it's from Carabao mangoes which are Philippine mangoes from Manila and these are $3.99 for a four pack the unfiltered apple juice comes and goes in my store and I was happy to see it back because this is probably one of the best apple juices I've tried and it only has one ingredient. I do wish it was organic though. Other than that, it is the best and it is 4 dollars 
Here's another new item you can find in the supplement section, hydrolyzed collagen. It has 12 grams per serving and is unflavored. It comes in a resealable bag and does contain a scoop inside. You can add this to coffee or smoothies or throw it into soups or even sneak it into a baked item. And a bag is $7.99. Also, the artisanal pastas are back. There's two different shapes to choose from for $2.99 a bag. Also back is the sweet basil foaming hand soap. This smells really fresh. This one's pretty good, but my favorite herbal foaming hand soap is the method foaming hand soaps when they carry limited edition scents. They smell so good. And the reusable silicone food storage bags are also available and it comes in a three pack in small, medium, and large for $9.99. My store also had a lot of the rose water facial toners left. These are $3.99. And if you missed it, there's still a lot of vanilla lip masks left, which has gotten a lot of good reviews and this is $5.99. Also, if you made it this far into the video, here's a sneak peek of the new mini insulated tote bags. These are the same as the bigger ones, but just smaller, although I'm not sure of the dimensions and they will be $3.99 and are expected to arrive in stores on May 20th. Also, all the Easter and spring seasonal cards have arrived. They're always so fun and cute to stop and take a minute to look at, either give to a friend, family, teachers, for only 99 cents. My store was completely out of the mini tote bags and I was told they won't be back until sometime next year. And there's also rumblings that there might be new colors added as well. Let me know if you guys were able to snag a bag. I did not and I will just have to wait until next year. So that's it for shopping this week. Let's get into this week's haul. Always pick up bananas and a bag of Murasaki sweet potatoes. I love roasting these up and cutting them in half and then re-roasting them until the edges caramelize and then I drizzle either tahini or nut butter over it. Some Roma tomatoes for sandwiches or salads. Ran out of the dill pickle mustard from Trader Joe's which comes back during the summer so this will have to do for now. Also ran out of the fruit and veggie wash which is my favorite but lately I've seen a lot of people just use baking soda to clean their fruits so I might give that a try after I finish this bottle, some kidney beans, and black beans to make some chili with. Not from Trader Joe's, but I picked up this ground turkey which was on sale at Ralph's or Kroger's to put into the chili. And these are the ingredients I use to make chili with. Super simple. I already had a can of the Marzanino tomatoes from Trader Joe's in my pantry, so I used that instead of diced tomatoes. And then the two cans of beans from Trader Joe's, a packet of taco seasoning from Thrive Market. I also use the taco seasoning from Trader Joe's, but that one has a spicy kick to it, so I like to switch it up with the one at Thrive, which doesn't have much heat to it. And then I just drain the beans and give them a rinse under cold water. I cook and lightly season the ground turkey in another pan first. And then when that's done, I'll throw everything in a pot and add in a cup of water and turn it to medium heat and let it cook until it starts to simmer, which takes about 15 minutes or so. Then I'll add fresh cilantro at the end for garnish and sometimes a little avocado to make it Tex-Mex style. And if I have any Greek yogurt or cottage cheese, I might add a dollop on top. Okay, and now back to the haul. I got some unfiltered apple juice. It tastes so much better than other apple juices in my opinion. Only has one ingredient and this is really sweet so I dilute it with water and even when I do that, it's still really sweet. It's just really good. Love having grilled zucchini lately. I bulk up my meals with a lot of veggies because I'm definitely a volume eater. A guilty pleasure these Bear Bell protein bars are a treat I like to have at the end of the night here and there when I want some chocolate. Really excited to try the Cheery Lemon Animal Crackers. These came in the Enchanted Jangle mix which came out in the summer, not to be confused with the Sprinkle Jangle, which is a different mix altogether. Everyone loved the Animal Crackers so much last year and Trader Joe's must have read all our comments that they decided to come out with a small bag of them separately this year, which was a very nice surprise because you guys know how much I love the individual size bags for many reasons. One being portion control and two because Trader Joe's comes out with so many new items and sometimes I have to pick and choose which items to get because I can't finish two or three different snacks which means something either isn't going to get bought or I end up wasting food so Trader Joe's if you're watching this please continue to bring out more individual size snack bags anyway these look and taste exactly like the same as the ones that came in the Enchanted Jangle except these come with rainbow sprinkles the animal crackers are really light and crispy kind of like the Stouffer's brand of animal crackers these are so good highly recommend so excited to try the pizza party chips because I held off for a few weeks while I was sick and when I was eating healthier. There's three flavors that come in this bag, the cheese and garlic, pizza sauce, and pepperoni. I went into this thinking I was going to love it and had really high hopes for it, but honestly, I was disappointed and underwhelmed. Something was off about the seasoning. It basically tasted like the pizza seasoning from Trader Joe's that came out last year, and I really wasn't a fan of it. And it had a strong celery flavor, so I looked at the ingredients, and sure enough, it has celery seed powder in it. The texture 
texture was really great there, super crunchy. These are definitely kettle chips, which they don't mention on the bag. They weren't terrible, so these are okay for a one-time buy, but I definitely won't be repurchasing. And now back to the haul. I've heard such rave reviews on this cinnamon crumb coffee cake mix, and because I became a Trader Joe's box mix convert, I got FOMO and had to give it a try. I'll share with you guys in another video how it turns out when I end up making it. And this is the first time getting the cheddar cheese rockets. Technically, I got it in the step it up to the snack bar mix during the holidays because it comes in that, but they are so much better than the cheddar goldfish, which I honestly never was a fan of because they taste so chalky. And I'm big on texture, and these are so light and crispy and airy that they're really fun and addicting to eat. Now let's move into my Aldi haul. I picked up a bag of kale. Their bag is two ounces bigger and only 10 cents more than Trader Joe's. So if I go to Aldi, I'll just grab a bag there. I've heard really good things about this brand of chips and it says it's thick cut. So I'll give these a try after I finish the pizza party chips. Let me know if you guys want a review on these chips and I can include it in another video. A bag of tiny avocados, some grape tomatoes for salads, needed an onion. Cilantro was only 24 cents. So I definitely grabbed that. And this bag of jalapenos was only 35 cents. Sometimes all these has really amazing deals on their produce. Love getting cucumbers because the bag isn't too big or too small and it's only a little over $2 and they have been super crunchy lately. That's it for this week's video. Also, don't forget if you want to check Thrive Market out, the link is down in the description box below to get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until the next video, ciao guys.